Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper has always been a hot topic. It's a painting of Jesus having his last meal with his disciples. People have been buzzing about hidden meanings in the painting, from secret prophecies and hidden music to doomsday warnings. What was da Vinci really trying to say? Let's explore the true meaning behind the Last Supper. Da Vinci's painting is more than just art. It tells a story, offers a peek into the past, and might even hold secret messages. It's one of the most famous pieces of art in history. It's da Vinci's portrayal of a moment from all four Gospels, where Christ shares a meal with his disciples, knowing he's about to be betrayed. Let's dive deeper into this. The painting shows the moment after Jesus told his disciples that one of them would betray him. All twelve disciples reacted differently. For example, James was so shocked that he raised his arms in the air. Thomas seemed to be asking for an explanation, while Philip was hunched down in disbelief. Matthew, Jude, and Thaddeus were seeking clarification from Simon. Bartholomew, James, and Andrew, who were on Jesus' right, looked disbelieving. Peter, who was in front of them, held a knife and seemed ready to fight. Judas, the one who would betray Jesus, was quietly holding a purse and knocking over a salt cellar. There's one figure in the painting that's a mystery. Some people think it's the Apostle John, who da Vinci often portrayed with feminine traits. But others believe it's Mary Magdalene. Throughout history, Mary Magdalene has been seen as a prostitute or a woman who turned to Christ for redemption. But early Christian writings show her as more than just a follower. She was Jesus' trusted companion, and some even say his wife. The Gospel of Mary, a manuscript from the 2nd century AD, says that Mary Magdalene was more knowledgeable and powerful than Jesus' male disciples. The Gospel of Philip also identifies Mary Magdalene as Jesus' companion and says that Jesus used to kiss her often. When you look closely at the painting, you can see a V-shape between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Some people think this could mean they had a child together, but if you include both Jesus and Mary in the picture, it forms an air, which could mean they were married. This idea was made popular by the Da Vinci Code, but it's not the only theory out there. A guy named Slubisher Pesci, who works with information technology, found something interesting. He overlaid a mirror image of the painting on top of the original. This revealed for new figures, including two that look like Templar knights, a figure holding a baby, and a chalice in front of Jesus. Could this be a clue about the location of the Holy Grail? It would make sense, since the Templar knights were said to be its guardians. But what if the Holy Grail wasn't a cup, but a person, the child of Jesus and Mary Magdalene? When Pesci shared his theory online, it went viral and crashed many DA Vinci-related websites. Some people called it the discovery of the century. But others were skeptical. They said that da Vinci's placement of figures was more important and that he didn't intend for his painting to be seen this way. They argued that people were just seeing what they wanted to see in the blurry image. But the theories don't stop there. Some skeptics pointed out a hidden numeric pattern in the painting, 33133. If you count the groups of disciples on either side of Jesus, you get two groups of three on the right and two groups of three on the left. Including Jesus in the center gives you the code 33133. But what does this mean? Da Vinci's history might help us understand the pattern 33133 in the painting. Back in 1476, when he was a student at Andrea del Verrocchio's workshop, he and three others were arrested for a crime. Some people think that 33133 refers to a Bible verse, Lamentations 1 verses 31 to 33, which says that no one is cast off by the Lord forever. They believe this was da Vinci's way of expressing his homosexuality and his belief that he was still loved by God. But there's another theory. In 2007, a computer specialist named Giovanni Maria Parla said he'd cracked the real da Vinci code. He said that if you draw lines across the bread rolls and hands in the painting, you get a musical score. When played on a pipe organ at 40 to 60 beats per minute, it sounds like a samba soundtrack for the moment when Jesus revealed that one of his disciples would betray him. Even though some people are skeptical, they don't rule out the possibility that da Vinci could have hidden a tune in the painting. Then there's Vatican scholar Sabrina Sforza Galizia. In 2010, she said she'd solved a mathematical and astrological puzzle in the Last Supper. She said the half-moon window above Jesus in the painting is the key to the puzzle. Using da Vinci's code, which involves the zodiac and the 24 letters of the Latin alphabet to represent the 24 hours in a day, she believes da Vinci foresaw the story of humanity. Some people believe that da Vinci's Last Supper predicts a universal flood that will start on March 21, 4006, and end on November 1, 4006. 
This flood will mark the end of the world and a new beginning for humanity. Experts think that all these theories could be hidden in the Last Supper, showing us a glimpse of the future. But maybe there's a simpler explanation, and we're just looking for something that isn't there. Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper has always been surrounded by mystery. It's a painting of Jesus' last meal with his disciples, and people have been talking about hidden messages in the painting, from prophesies and hidden music to warnings about the end of the world. What was da Vinci trying to tell us? Let's explore the true meaning behind the Last Supper. Da Vinci's painting is more than just art. It tells a story, offers a peek into the past, and might even hold secret messages. It's one of the most famous pieces of art in history. It shows Jesus having his last meal with his disciples, just before he was betrayed. In the painting, you can see the disciples' different reactions to the news. James is raising his arms in shock, Thomas seems to be asking for an explanation, and Philip is hunched down in disbelief. Matthew, Jude, and Thaddeus are seeking clarification from Simon. Bartholomew, James, and Andrew look disbelieving, while Peter is holding a knife, ready to fight. Judas, the one who would betray Jesus, is quietly holding a purse and knocking over a salt cellar. But there's one figure in the painting that's a mystery. Some people think it's the Apostle John, who da Vinci often portrayed with feminine traits. But others believe it's Mary Magdalene. Throughout history, Mary Magdalene has been seen as a prostitute or a woman who turned to Christ for redemption. But early Christian writings show her as more than just a follower. She was a close companion of Jesus. Some people believe that Mary Magdalene was not just a follower of Jesus, but his wife. This idea comes from the Gospel of Mary, a manuscript from the 2nd century AD, which says that Mary Magdalene was more knowledgeable and powerful than Jesus' male disciples. The Gospel of Philip also identifies Mary Magdalene as Jesus' companion and says that Jesus used to kiss her often. When you look closely at the Last Supper, you can see a V's shape between Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Some people think this could mean they had a child together, but if you include both Jesus and Mary in the picture, it forms an M, which could mean they were married. Then there's Slavisha Pesci, an information technologist. He found that when you overlay a mirror image of the painting on top of the original, you see four new figures, including two that look like Templar knights, a figure holding a baby, and a chalice in front of Jesus. This could be a clue about the location of the Holy Grail, or it could suggest that the Holy Grail is a person the child of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. When Pesci shared his theory online, it went viral. Some people called it the discovery of the century, while others were skeptical. They said that da Vinci's placement of figures was more important and that he didn't intend for his painting to be seen this way. But the theories don't stop there. Some skeptics pointed out a hidden numeric pattern in the painting, 33133. If you count the groups of disciples on either side of Jesus, you get two groups of three on the right and two groups of three on the left. Including Jesus in the center gives you the code 33133. The pattern 33133 in the painting might be linked to da Vinci's past. Back in 1476, when he was a student, he and three others were arrested for a crime. Some people think that 33133 refers to a Bible verse, Lamentations 1 verses 31 to 33, which says that no one is cast off by the Lord forever. They believe this was da Vinci's way of expressing his homosexuality and his belief that he was still loved by God. In 2007, a computer specialist named Giovanni Maria Parla said he'd cracked the real da Vinci code. He said that if you draw lines across the bread rolls and hands in the painting, you get a musical score. When played on a pipe organ at 40 to 60 beats per minute, it sounds like a samba soundtrack for the moment when Jesus revealed that one of his disciples would betray him. Then there's Vatican scholar Sabrina Sforza Galizia. In 2010, she said she'd solved a mathematical and astrological puzzle in The Last Supper. She said the half-moon window above Jesus in the painting is the key to the puzzle. Using da Vinci's code, which involves the zodiac and the 24 letters of the Latin alphabet to represent the 24 hours in a day, 
she believes da Vinci foresaw the story of humanity. According to her, this story ends with a universal flood that will start on March 21, 4006, and end on November 1, 4006. This flood will mark the end of the world and a new beginning for humanity. Experts think that all these theories could be hidden in the Last Supper, showing us a glimpse of the future. But maybe there's a simpler explanation, and we're just looking for something that isn't there.